Please, Tony Khan, I need you to hire Disco Inferno. There, I said it. Yes, the Disco Inferno. Not to come out to dance, though, but to actually help you book. Tony, for real. You could do something with this. I know you've been fantasy booking forever, and you have the money. It's your money. I'm very happy that you're happy. However, what if, hear me out, Tony, what if you created not just a number two wrestling company, but a number two wrestling company that was taken seriously? I mean, what if, Tony, you could have your own WCW instead of just a really big indie federation? Really, Tony? No shame in asking for people to help you. You were never an actual booker. You never actually understood the TV side, the personalities, the this, the that, the ins and the outs of creating long-term stories. And that's okay. You've done great with what you've had, but the wheels are starting to fall off. I know AEW is going to last for a very long time. As long as Tony's not bored, AEW is going to be around. But Tony, for real, you're a wrestling fan. I know you're a wrestling fan. Props, man, props. You gave wrestlers another opportunity, another form to, to wrestle. Competition. Competition is great. I did a whole video how 2019 WWE sucked, and then what happened in 2019? AEW was created. WWE doesn't suck five years later. But Tony, AEW sucks now. It just does. And you have, you have the best minds in the business doing nothing. Dutch Mantel, Kevin Nash, Disco Inferno, Codan, he does triple A, so he is a booker, but I think you could get Codan if you wanted to. Jim Cornette, all of these guys, Eric Bischoff, all of these guys, they're just doing podcasts. Most of these guys don't even like each other. And they all say the same thing over and over. Vince Russo, he's another one. Vince Russo, Eric Bischoff, they hate each other, right? They absolutely do not like each other, and yet they are saying to themselves, I would rather work with that guy than work in AEW. If you could make Eric Bischoff and Vince Russo actually say they would work together, you're some kind of miracle maker. Tony, you're some kind of miracle maker in all the wrong kind of ways. But these guys... They're doing nothing. And you know what? They're all probably happy, retired. I wouldn't want to come out of retirement for that. No, they wouldn't want to come out of retirement for Vince McMahon. Because Vince McMahon will make them all sell their houses, change their lives, and move to Connecticut. But Tony, we live in a Zoom meeting world. All you got to do is on Monday afternoon and maybe Friday, Friday afternoon, do your booking meetings. Have Vince Russo, Disco Inferno, and Conan over here for Mondays on a Zoom meeting, two hours tops. And then on Fridays, have Eric Bischoff, Jim Cornette, and Dutch Mantel. Maybe throw in Disco Inferno. Maybe throw in Disco Inferno. I know he's a manager of a club in, in Las Vegas, but you could probably pay him enough to either cut down his hours or, you know, just quit his job. I wouldn't say he's the head booker, but he could maybe be like the, the guy who keeps the story straight. You know, like your, what is it, a, a script doctor? In Hollywood, he could be your script doctor. He could be making sure everything is like cohesive and it can all be done via Zoom, FaceTime, whatever, Skype. Like, you live in a world where you have access and money to make it happen. Cornette doesn't want to do any of this stuff because he doesn't want to, like, you know, travel. If they're doing podcasts, then, then they really probably wouldn't care about this. I hear them booking on their podcast all the time. Well, they should have done this. They should have done that. And they're always right. They know the business. Tony, no shade, but you don't know the ins and outs of behind the scenes. And that's okay. You need to learn. We all need to learn... At some point, like, you could be, you could literally be Vince McMahon in 10 years. If, you know, minus all the creepy stuff, if you just leaned on these people. These people have a wealth of knowledge, and you could just, like, you could get, like, crash course in, in how to run a viable wrestling company. Man, Tony, you are missing the boat. These guys are brilliant. Jim Cornette, yeah, 
yeah, he has a colorful personality. Vince Russo, yeah, he thinks up a lot of garbage ideas. Disco Inferno, nah. <laughs> Disco Inferno. I love Disco Inferno. I don't care what anybody says. I love the Disco Inferno. Conan would probably be the hardest one to get, and that's just because he has ties to AAA right now. But, like, honestly, I think you could do it. I really do think you could get it. Kevin Nash, I'm not a big fan of his booking, but at the same time, I know he would be better than what you got. And maybe you could pull some of these guys that you aren't maybe using right now. You have a lot of people on your staff already. I fear though that those guys, maybe they haven't been heard by like the Adam Pages and stuff because Adam Page has gone on the record saying, we don't really need to get any advice because we're doing fine. I don't think you're doing fine. You're barely cracking 700,000 now. You're just gonna keep going down. There comes a point in every organization, country, or whatever, that on the you're going downhill. And if you don't course correct, you will continue to go downhill into your ultimate demise. Tony, please, no joke. Disco Inferno might be your savior. Or Jim Cornette. Or Dutch Mantel. Or Vince Russo. You'll have the final say in everything. You'll definitely have the final say in everything. Look at this post. It's kind of insane how Tama Tonga was a mid-carder in New Japan Wrestling and WWE turned him into a star in just two weeks. Meanwhile, Okada was a megastar in New Japan Wrestling and AEW turned him into just another guy. For real. For real. Okada is, I mean, good for Okada. He's making a ton of money, but... What? How is Tamatunga? Tamatunga is awesome. I love Tamatunga, and I have I barely even know him. And I have heard I have heard so much about Okada, but now that they're both stateside, it's all Tamatunga. You hear nothing about Okada, and Okada is actually even in the biggest angle of the whole New Bucks takeover, King of the Ring. And I'm seeing Okada do what? Stand behind the New Bucks and smile. Tony, for real, you just gotta. I I really do want AEW to succeed. Honest to God. I want you to not just succeed. I would love for us to have a Monday Night War again. Streaming wars. I would love to compare Max numbers on Dynamite to Netflix numbers on Monday Night Raw. That would be so amazing. That was just such a good time to be a wrestling fan. I would love that to happen again. But right now, AEW, they're not there. They're not in that place. You can't fill 3,000 seats. WWE can't add more seats for their sellout crowds. You're not dumb, Tony, but your pride might be in the way. Or maybe you have a little too many yes men telling you, oh no, no, things are great, things are great. Those are just internet marks. Those are just Jim Cornette followers. Bots, just bots saying all the bad press. No, Tony, stop listening to Uncle Dave. Get the young bucks out of your ears and get in people who don't care about your feelings. Really, get people who are not caring about your feelings, but they are caring about your wallet. That's all you need. You can go out to have drinks with the Young Bucks after, but you'll be making money on those meetings, those Zoom meetings. Tony, I beg you, please, I want Dynamite to be awesome. I want Collision to be awesome. I want AEW to be awesome, but it's not. It's just not. And you have the answer. It's Disco Inferno or the others. Hire them. Zoom them. Make it happen. I acknowledge what AEW could become, but I also acknowledge what AEW is right now, and it's not good. Please, please make it good. Please make it right. Hire these people. You've got the money. You've got the money. It can happen. You cannot tell me that you don't have enough money to get Cornette two hours a week on Zoom. Guys, girls, what do you think? What do you think the answer is to help AEW? Or do you think AEW is just fine how it is? I appreciate every single one of you. Please comment below so you get a chance to win this belt. At 10,000 subscribers, I will do a drawing. The more comments and the more videos that you post, the more chances you have to win. Guys, girls, have a great day.